myself and hopefully you're proud of me too but certainly your subscriber numbers tell me that you are thank you thank you thank you to everybody who continues to subscribe to this channel I so appreciate you I really really do I am back to talk to you a little bit about networking I have just about three tips or so maybe a bonus on how to network purposefully because I think a lot of people think they should be networking more than they do or um, want to be networking more than they do and don't really know where to get started. And I've had a lot of practice at doing this. So I figure I should share some of my tips with you. So my number, number one tip, and these are in no particular order, is to you know, understand why you want to be networking. So it's not about networking for networking's sake. It's about networking with intention. So you need to have some goals in mind about why this is important. For me, early on in my business and, and continually to now, um, but, you know, more so in the beginning of my business, it was to put myself out there to have more opportunities to tell my story so that people would come to know, okay, that's Janine Truitt from Talent Think Innovations and this is what Talent Think Innovations is about. So that was important for me at that juncture. I continue to network because again, you know, when you're in business, you cannot be mum or silent unless, you know, you're just some known entity. You've got to always be pushing it. So I attend select events to continue to be able to tell my personal story and also to connect the dots between who I am and what Talent Think Innovations is. That's my goal. But there's a myriad of reasons why, you know, you'd be out there networking. So for instance, you know, it may be that you want to leave your current job and you need to get out there and meet some people and understand what's going on in the market. It may be that you're looking solely to make leads for your business. You may be launching like I was and want to kind of put yourself out there um, not just only to connect with other entrepreneurs, but also to attract investment. Um, you may have a hobby or a side hustle that you're really passionate about and you want to know more or connect with individuals that are connected to that said community. So I just think it's important initially to have some goals in mind about why you want to be networking. So that's one. The second thing is, who are these people that you're wanting to meet? I think it's important to envision that. I think it's important to know who they are, what they do, and where they hang out. Um, because ultimately, you don't need to spend a lot of time and resources at networking events um, and potentially spending a lot of money if it's just the deal that they hang out at some little meetup at some company, office, workroom, bar, whatever, and that's where you actually need to be putting in your effort. So it's about knowing you know, who it is you're wanting to be networking with so that it's not like you've got to be in a room meeting all the people. So for me, I used to think like when they said network, you needed to work the room. You always heard this lingo of work the room. And so I used to think like I had to circulate and meet all the people and get all the business cards. What ended up happening in the end is I was left with a lot of business cards and a lot of contacts with people or names of people, I should say, who had no intention of really making good on any of our conversations about collaboration, partnership, et cetera, et cetera. So I say that to say that, you know, just be clear on who it is you're trying to meet so that you can save yourself from spending a lot of time on people who may not be ready to do anything. The third tip I want to share is networking takes time. It's a relationship that you're trying to cultivate with a perfect stranger in many cases, with maybe just the littlest bit of synergy between you two. So, you know, it takes time. It's kind of like a relationship or a friendship. You may meet this person at an event. Sometimes you meet somebody 
and you kick it off like right away and you just know you're going to be good buddies or good friends or there's going to be something that happens of this and sometimes you meet people and you get that feeling and afterwards they're either distant or non-existent in which they fall off the radar altogether and so you have to kind of be prepared for those instances um but that said whomever you meet along the way just know that you've got to nurture those relationships it's not a matter of hey i met you at this event i need xyz from you you've got to nurture it and it kind of brings me to my bonus point which is that you have to have something to bring to the table so it's not just about me 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 i'm gonna go network because i need i need it's what do I, what's the value I bring to this relationship or this collaboration? So I hear a lot of people talking about rubbing elbows with the right people and all that kind of highfalutin jazz. What does that even mean if you don't bring anything to the table? So it's one thing to be able to say, I know a Mark Zuckerberg or I know a Morgan DeBon, you know, or any of these people who, you know, are CEOs of companies, movers and shakers, et cetera, et cetera. It's one thing to say you know them. It's a whole nother thing if they in in return value knowing you. And so I guess that's kind of my bonus tip is be somebody worth knowing, one. And two, you know, really sit with yourself and be clear about what you bring to the table as a value add because in order to get something, you need to give something. And nine times out of 10, what I've found is that you're going to give before you get. There are very, very few people in this world that are kind hearted enough, not that they have to, um, but kind hearted enough where they will give you without expecting something in return. So just be prepared to, you know, sell your value proposition to whomever it is that you're trying to network with. And that, guys, I feel is networking purposefully. I mean, for me, just to give you kind of a day in the life of where I am in terms of networking, it's really like my time is precious. For those of you that know a little bit about me, I'm a mom of three, and then I own this business, and this business has spawned several sub-businesses, if you will. And so time is very important, and you know, energy is equally important because I'm often tired. I'm doing like a gazillion jobs. So that said, I instead of me going to all of the events and trying to meet all the people and get all of the business cards, I'm more, much more intent on trying to make sure I'm at the right places at the right time with the right people. And that has served me very well, I might say. And the whole concept that I shared of nurturing those relationships there are relationships that I cultivated three and four years ago, sometimes some of them five, that took two and three years to reap any kind of fruits, if you will, of my efforts and labor. So, uh, you know, that said, it takes time, it takes nurturing, it takes intent, it takes you having to step back and look at yourself and your value proposition holistically and picking it apart to see where there are holes in your story and or deficits, whatever that is, I just think you need to be well informed. It may seem like a lot, but I promise you that doing this work and taking my tips will really make your networking a lot more purposeful. Um, maybe have a little less angst around doing it at all because now you know who you're trying to meet and why you're trying to meet them and what you expect the outcomes to be. So. I hope this is helpful. If you ever want me to do a longer talk on this, please leave me a comment um, in the comment section. I'd be happy to do that. And just a reminder, you can always catch me live every week, every Thursday, 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Periscope for Ask Serena Live. That is my weekly live stream show where I talk about everything from working motherhood to uh, parenthood to race relations HR, career, tech, you name it, I touch it. So hope to see you guys there sometime. But obviously, I'll keep talking to you guys here as more and more topics come to me. And if you ever have a topic that you'd like me to uh, tap into, you can also reach out to me and let me know that as well. 
There's tons of new content at the aristocracy of HR.com. So for those of you that follow the blog um, and follow this as an extension of the blog, please be sure to check in there and check out all the new content. But thank you so much for listening. I hope these tips are helpful. Get out there and network purposefully. And I'll be talking to you guys soon. Bye.